about his condition or his team as of yet this morning, but this is what we know of his condition from overnight. Doctors at Walter Reed are saying that Trump could go home soon, but at the same time, they're describing his condition and treatment in serious terms. As doctors acknowledge that he's had trouble with oxygen levels, he's had a high fever, and is being treated with a series of medications usually used in serious COVID cases. But on the other hand, they say the president's condition is improving. The president not only thanking the doctors and nurses at Walter Reed, but also talking about his diagnosis. It's been a very interesting journey. I learned a lot about COVID. I learned it by really going to school. This is the real school. This isn't the let's read the book school. And I get it and I understand it. And it's a very interesting thing. And I'm going to be letting you know about it. In the meantime, we love the USA and we love what's happening. Thank you. Now, following his latest Twitter video announcement you just saw there, the president surprised everyone with a presidential drive by outside of the hospital to see his supporters, which is drawing a lot of criticism for putting the health of those inside of the vehicle at risk of getting COVID. A doctor from Walter Reed tweeting this yesterday that reads every single person in the vehicle during that completely unnecessary presidential drive by just now has to be quarantined for 14 days. They might get sick. They may die for political theater commanded by Trump to put their lives at risk for theater. This is insanity. Dr. James Phillips went on to say in part that the irresponsibility is astounding. My thoughts are with the Secret Service forced to play and the backlash from his drive by parade to supporters prompting the hashtag Secret Service to trend online with many people worried about the safety and well being of his security staff. Meanwhile, the White House releasing photos of the president working from his presidential suite at Walter Reed saying the president is eager to get back to work at the White House. His doctors once again saying that he could be released as early as today. And of course, we should get an update either from the president or White House officials, hopefully this morning. And uh, Jay, you mentioned he's up. He is tweeting this morning. President Trump tweeting here just two minutes ago, Space Force vote. So yeah. he's up talking about uh, poll numbers and other voting things, but nothing about his condition this yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people interested to hear uh, what he has to say. And yeah, there's criticism from that drive by because right. He, a lot of people saying that's very insensitive to the 200,000 plus Americans who uh, died and were not able to say goodbye to, to their, their family, family yeah, members. Sure. But, all right, Alicia, thanks for that.